A real flashy demonstration goes by several different names. One is underwater fireworks. The other is the microgeneration of acetylene and chlorine. What we do is generate acetylene in a cylinder of water. I have here one liter of water. And we generate chlorine gas from ordinary household bleach, sodium hypochlorite solution. What I'm going to do is introduce approximately 100 milliliters of household bleach into the reaction flask. The reaction flask is fitted with a rubber stopper delivery system, which delivers the gas to a long tube that is J-shaped so that the chlorine gas can be released below the surface at the bottom of the cylinder of water. The chlorine is generated by adding approximately 10 milliliters of concentrated, or in this case, six molar, which is reasonably concentrated, hydrochloric acid. The acetylene is generated in the cylinder by the addition of crystals or lumps of calcium carbide. The most difficult part of this is you've got to move reasonably fast because you're going to begin generating chlorine gas immediately. Uh, so you have to be sure that you stop your system. You see the green color of the chlorine gas. You begin to see the At first, we're getting mostly, dim the lights, please. At first, we're getting mostly air. I think you can see the flashes of light as the chlorine gas reacts with the bubbles of acetylene. And what we're doing here is because of the reactivity of the acetylene, the triple bond, and the high oxidative capacity of the chlorine gas, we are uh, releasing the chlorine and reacting. Now, what happens? The calcium carbide reacts with the water to produce the acetylene. The acetylene ideally reacts with two molecules of chlorine gas, producing ideally the C2H2Cl4. However, as we all know in combustion reactions, we really don't get the product totally that we expect. What products do we get? Well. One of the products that we will get is going to be any combination of the acetylene with chlorine, hydrogen chloride reacting with the water, and even in some cases, you will get a detection, and it's present on the surface here, of carbon, because the carbon is released when the incomplete combustion of the acetylene takes place much the same as you get carbon residue when you burn any hydrocarbon material. So underwater fireworks or microgeneration, small scale generation of acetylene and chlorine gas. If nothing more, this will probably be the first time your students would ever have seen actual chlorine gas. And that's a favorite question on many standard exams is what color is chlorine gas, and there it is, so they're able to see that.